Okay. This is going to be a little bit weird, a little bit awkward, and a little bit hard for me. Like, this whole video is just going to be a little weird because I'm not really the type to do this on my channel. Um, I'm going to try to be as transparent as possible and as real as possible without sharing too much information because I'm really not the type of person to do that via YouTube, via social media, period. Um, <laughs> so... Yeah, I'm gonna try to spill the tea without giving you guys all the tea, okay? Okay, so let's just hop right into it. So if you guys have been following me on social media, like my Instagram, my Twitter, and also my YouTube, if you guys are, you know, you have your notifications on, you guys would have seen that I said I was taking a break and focusing on my mental health, which I will get into a little bit later. thirsty but i did want to address the question that i've been getting a lot lately in my dms on my emails just everywhere in my comments and that is did me and brian break up did me and my boyfriend break up so to answer you guys' question no we did not break up we are still together um i'm actually here right now this is texas i'm here so no we did not break up we are still together so one thing that i can say is that long distance has been getting harder i thought it would be easier um because you know time goes on you kind of get used to the long distance but for me personally it's been getting harder and harder i guess it's because you kind of like realize like okay i've been with this person almost three years i'd rather just be with them instead of you know waiting two months to see them and da -da -da -da. it's kind of like you want to grow with them like beside them or you know to actually be close to them and grow with them instead of being a fart apart <laughs> instead of being apart and growing together or even growing apart so i feel like i kind of realized that through you know everything that i've been going through and i'm just like when i was going through a certain part in my life i'm just like damn like i wish this person was right here to like you know help me through this and he wasn't <laughs> he was like far away and it's like i realized like i need i need that so yeah i'm here now we're good we did not break up okay we did not break up but we gotta get our ish together in order to make it permanent so yeah that's that we are together fyi okay okay so the next thing i want to talk to you guys about is the main reason why i've been mia and that is depression I hate using that word. I really hate using that word because I feel like I'm label I'm labeling myself and enabling the depression. Um, but that is pretty much what I've been going through. Um, I'm a lot better now and that's why I'm creating this video and I've been more consistent on my vlog channel. But that is what I've been going through or that's what I was going through for the past maybe month and a half, two months. I don't really know like how it kind of came about or whatever i know some of the triggering reasons but i just don't know like why and what i mean by that is just like why would i be going through why would i be depressed when my life is very blessed i'm so grateful for everything that i have and there's so many other people out there who have way less than me who are going through way more serious things than me and I shouldn't feel this way and I feel guilty to feel that way because I have so much blessings I have you know I'm healthy I have a roof over my head I have family and friends who love me I I'm literally in my dream career and I'm traveling everywhere I have literally everything that you know I need so why do I feel this like dark cloud over my head? Like this is getting too real right now, okay. Whew. Like I wanna share the reasons, but I don't wanna share the reasons because I just don't want people to judge me and be like, well, you know, that's nothing to be, you know, depressed over, da 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 da. But I feel like it just all came at like once or they all just came, 
you know, just trickling down after the other. And it just really like overwhelmed me and stressed me out and really put me in that mind state. And, you know, some people would be like, you know, you don't play around with depression. You just don't say you're depressed or whatever the case is. And I know that, like, I, do you think I want to be depressed? No, I don't. Um, but I know how it feels because I've been there and I've been there when I was in a very abusive relationship. This was probably about three, four years ago, four or five years. I don't even know anymore, but I've been there and I know exactly how it feels to be depressed. So I feel the, the same way that I felt then is the same way, you know, I'm feeling now. Not anymore, but I was feeling, you know, not too long ago. So I know exactly how it feels. And literally, I would wake up every single day and I would just stay in bed. And like, you know, I love to sleep. So I sleep for long periods of time. But this time, like, I literally did not want to get out of bed. Like, I just wanted to sleep. I wanted to dream because my dreams were better than reality i never thought about you know killing myself or you know committing suicide none of that ever crossed my mind i just didn't want to do anything and um when i did do stuff it was it was because i didn't want anybody asking me questions you know you just got to play the role so nobody asks you questions so if i would be going out with my friends or just talking to my family or whoever it was all just to play the role so they don't be like, Shanice, like, are you good? Like, what's going on? And even though I did enjoy their company or whatever, like, I just rather, I didn't want to be there really. I'd rather just be in my room, locked up, and just not talking to anybody, which is not healthy because the more you do that to yourself, the more you're just going to be in your feelings and you're not going to get better. So, yeah, like, even when I went out for my birthday and all of that, like, I don't know, I just really didn't care to do it, but I just did it just because, you know, it was my birthday and I'm like, damn, like, I don't want nobody asking me questions. I don't want anybody to feel any type of way. So I went out and I did something for my birthday. <laughs> yeah. I'm like trying to figure out where I want to go with this. <sighs> This is, this is very hard for me to share because I didn't even tell anybody really this. Like, my, my mom doesn't know, my sister doesn't know, my friends don't really know. We actually had a girl talk a little bit before I left um, to come here and we were all like sharing things that were going on in our lives or whatever. And I didn't tell them that I was like, I, did I tell them I was depressed? I think I did, but I didn't really go into depth. I'm just like, de depth. I just said, I was just very basic with them. I'm just like, you know, I just don't want to talk. I just don't want to share. And usually I share everything with my friends, like everything. But this is just something that I just wanted for myself and to keep to myself, which again is not good. But sometimes you just don't want people in your business, you know, and you'd feel like, this is something that you can get over yourself. And that's exactly how I felt. Like literally every day I was praying and I was praying, I was praying. I was like, God, like, please get me out of this. I don't want to feel like this anymore. I'm so like grateful for everything that I have. Like, just why am I feeling like this? Whew. And like literally the only person that would make me happy, like literally the only person, nobody, else can make me happy not my boyfriend not my mom not my sister not my friends the only person that would make me happy and actually like really really smile and make me feel good inside was my little sister she's just like she's such a light in my life and she's just so adorable and so funny and oh gosh okay yeah, she was literally the only person that could like really make me smile. Like I'd be laying in my bed. I would just be like, Aaliyah, like come. Oh my God, I'm crying. I would be like, I'll call her name. Oh my gosh, Shanice. Oh, uh, anyways, I would be like, Aaliyah, come like, you know, just come lay down with me. And like, she would just make me feel so good. She would make me laugh. And she's literally the only person that made me, you know, kind of forget about everything. 
And like, I know my friends and my family are gonna watch this video and be like, why didn't you say anything? Like, why are you putting this on YouTube first? And I don't know. I just felt like this is the way that I wanted to go this time. And to this day, like, I plead, like, please, if you guys are watching this, when I come home, don't ask me no questions. Don't text me. Don't really, don't, I just don't want no questions. Like, you can, like, ask me, like, how I am or whatever, but just don't ask me no questions. I don't want to get into it. I don't want to bring up, you know, the same things over and over again. Like I said, there are several reasons to why it actually got to this point. Um, there's not necessarily one not two not three not four not five but there's a bunch of reasons and it just literally just whoo gathered up and you know got brought down on me and um i'm not gonna share them on camera just because you know there are strangers watching this and i just don't want to have my business in a stranger's hand so they can twist it and manipulate it and do whatever they want to do with it um i don't want that sorry um i just wanted to let you guys know that you know, that is the reason why I've been MIA, why I've been gone. Um, yeah, I kind of feel like I'm going through a midlife crisis. I really think that. I feel like a lot of people go through that. Um, you know, not really knowing what to do with their life, not really knowing their purpose, not really, you know, waiting on God's timing for things to happen. Um, just feeling lost and not doing the things that you should do to make you happy um, you know I those are a few of the things that you know kind of what I was going through and I feel like so many of us can relate to that you know going through a midlife crisis just like oh my god like what am I doing like why am I even here why but I prayed and I prayed and I prayed and I prayed and, I prayed and at the end of the day, like, everything is going to be God's timing, every little thing, and I really got to focus on the positive things in life. Um, I actually have the journal right here I want to show you guys. I can't exactly remember what company sent me this journal, but it's a morning journal, and um, I pretty much write every single day what I'm grateful for and awesome things that happened today. And if I have like any other notes or whatever, I would just write it in this book. And yeah, it makes my day so much better. It makes me realize like I'm so freaking blessed. I'm so, I have everything beyond measure. So this book really helps me with like my mental state um so thank you to the company who sent me this like i really really appreciate it i'm actually looking for a prayer journal as well so if you guys have any recommendations on where i can get like a good prayer journal please comment down below um well yeah let's just stop all this stuff <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to be back. I am going to be posting a lot more often now, so you guys will see this face, okay? I'm feeling so, 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 so much better. I just, I just really needed that time away from, you know, kind of social media, being online, and I just really needed that break for myself. So I'm super excited to be back. I will have a lot more content coming to you guys. So I do want to say thank you to everybody who stuck with me, who are still here with me and who have, you know, DM me and email me asking me if I was okay, asking me if I was good. Like, I really appreciate all of you guys. Um, so yeah, can't wait to, you know, start making videos again. And this is just the start. So I will see you guys all in the next video. I love you guys so much. And don't forget to subscribe. This is.